Okay, well, this is starting a little bit later than uh, normal. Uh, for those of you who are watching live, um, I had no sound. Um, I'd loaded up everything, I'd gone live, and then realised that I had no sound coming through my headphones, which meant um, I didn't know if the OBS was going to pick anything up, and I didn't want to play the game silent anyway. And um, yeah, just rebooting seemed to fix the issue. I seem to be getting that a lot at the moment, so I might need to look into uh, what might be causing that. There's a few things I can think of. But anyway, welcome back. Uh, if you're new here, I'm late to the beard party. And um, yes, we are now returning to the game that we put on hold for a couple of weeks for Stray, um, which is uh, Primal for the PS2. Uh, I had been playing through that game. I'd, I had originally planned on finishing this game before Stray came out, but I'd underestimated how, um, how slow the combat is. And um, although one of the sections I did actually manage to get through in one stream, all the others have taken two. Um, it's been fairly regular as well. So two, one area, two streams, except for the water-based one, which I managed to do in one stream. And that was partly because I just swam past everything. Um, the rest of the areas, I kind of have to stop and fight everything because uh, running away from them isn't really an option. And I've also had, had a few occasions where I've had to go and figure out or go to a walkthrough to figure out how what I was supposed to do um, and how to, how to finish the puzzles. So, uh, <laughs> and some of them have been annoyingly simple. Um, but yeah, we're continuing to have a heat wave in the UK as well, which is infuriating for a um, oh, uh, a pasty white uh, introvert such as myself and also my wife. <laughs> uh, hello there, Mel, lurking away so we can uh, uh, carry on watching. Um, yeah, I keep getting distracted. I keep saying I need to write a script for these intros, but I never seem to do that. <laughs> oh well. Just carry on. Um, I'll see my pants streaming. So let's head over to the game. Uh, there was my uh, comment from earlier for those watching on uh, YouTube. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, the. Um, oh, I've been really thrown this evening. I also had a uh, problem with a monitor stand I picked up for my secondary screen, which is just beside me here. I, it's a 1080p monitor, it's quite a small one, only 15 inch. But I wanted it in portrait mode rather than landscape because uh, that felt like it was going to be a better use of space for one thing. I'm limited on my desk here. And um, unfortunately, two of the screws on the back got stuck uh, when I was trying to rearrange it. One of them was cross thread, which was just a pain to remove and that thread's not going to be usable. The other one, um, I, th I don't know if it stripped the thread or something, but it was just turning and not moving. And it took quite a bit of force to try and remove it um and a lot of hefting and that that took me half an hour um so i've got loads of scrapes and everything on the back of the monitor now and i don't think i'll be able to fit a visa map to it because two of the screw holes are buggered um so i'm somewhat annoyed there <laughs> but anyway let's jump into the game uh where were we before um we just entered into the fourth area uh Volker, i think it's called where the gin exist it's also uh, where i um bought the section of the game which highlights one of the biggest plot holes this game story has i remember noticing it back when i played it back in the day um uh yeah you don't say that a character is one of only two in existence and then later on uh pretend like there's lots of them <laughs> um so hmm. They get a free pass because it was only one moment in the game and it doesn't really ruin the story. It's not like everything changes after that and there's loads of them. The rest of the game, I think, still treats her as one of two. So anyway, let's move on into the game. Now you should be... Yes, the audio's there. And uh, yeah, this is the final area of the game. Well, I say final. There is obvious, the obvious um, thing that happens right at the very end. We finish this area and there's more to it. Uh, the final boss for this game, I recall, being a five-stage boss fight. Five stages or five phases. And um, yeah, most most of the best boss ga or game bosses should be three phases. Oh. Ah, hello. Oh, I've forgotten the controls, haven't I? Yeah. 
Okay, this attack seems to work. I'll just spam this. Yeah, one thing I don't quite get, these things are fire-based. And they take damage from fire. You'd think they'd, uh, they'd be immune, but no. Oh, there's loads of them here. Oh, and two of them just... Yeah, combat in this is continuing to be rather sluggish. We've been spoilt with uh, games like Dark Souls in recent years. Some of these are taking a lot more hits than... Uh... Okay. Right, let's charge up. Okay, that's all I'm getting. Right, let's let Scree hoover up. Okay, you're not going to do it on your own. There's more enemies over there. <laughs> and the game is just letting me wait. Ooh. So if I remember correctly, we've basically got to do something in this realm to free the djinn. Um, or help fix a problem of theirs. So I can't really remember. All I, all I do remember from the cutscene before was... Um, oh, what was it he said? Something to do with the king not really being worthy and that there should be a coup. Yeah. It'll be great if the attack would hit. Okay, that did a fair amount of damage. Yeah, these guys are glitched. Okay. Let's charge up again. Cool, this one takes a lot of power. Drain these ones. Yeah, they really should have had it that he just absorbs them as he runs past. Because that would make this so much easier. But this was in the early days of uh, 3D combat games. And uh, not all of the bad game design had really been figured out at that point. Okay. This area is possibly going to be problematic, so let's see where we need to go from here. Oh. Uh, right, so that star symbol is at the top is where I came from. The Chalice of Sut. So, the other doorway is that way. There are no other chests around here to loot. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, this is going to be a door that they both need to work on. Yep. Way too heavy. Let's try it together. Uh, 
Okay, I don't like the look of all these bones. I'm hoping that's visible on the stream because this is quite dark even for me. Okay, that's just a place I can summon Scree from. So where are the guys that just got summoned in? Keep trying the wrong button. Okay. So the way to get over there is to go around here. Bloody camera. Again, early days of uh, 3D action games. People hadn't figured out how to do cameras. I mean, <laughs> in some ways they still haven't really figured out how to do it properly. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yes, definitely want that. One of the lodestones. So. Right. So the way out is by swimming. So I've got to turn into the uh, the aquas form. So show you this. Let's get out of the ground. So which one? I think it's up. Yep. So let's start choking. We can come up here. Gotta quickly change. Right, what's here? Okay, I haven't seen where that door is. Okay. I've pressed up to change to water form. That's it. And they immediately start taking damage. Currently upside down. Okay, so it literally is up this way. Again, change back. Oh. Right, so another lever that needs turning. Okay, that opens that one. Back to Scree, who... <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, why's the screen gone black there? Yep, yeah, okay. So to get Scree through, I've got to get him into this area. Because... Now, 
if you could actually see Scree in front of the gate as it opens. Yep. Right, let's head back to him. Another lodestone. Right, okay. Right, question's going to be where can I get Scree to climb? This will do. And of course he's slower because he's underwater. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I'm still quite impressed by this climbing mechanic because he doesn't seem to want to climb that way. Oh, that's annoying. And ironic, considering what I just said. Um, the reason I'm impressed by it is the fact that getting a system for doing climbing like this is not easy. I remember the um, oh the devs behind Alien vs Predator, where you could is this where you could play as the aliens and they could climb any wall. That was actually a really difficult um, old, uh, mechanic to implement. And they spent a lot of time trying to do it in a way that didn't make everyone feel sick. So to see it in a game on the PS2 from 2003 is actually quite impressive. I had a feeling that was going to open that. Right, now if I'm right, there's a way up out of here. <laughs> now in theory... Uh... No! Ooh, um... Hmm. That does raise an interesting question. How how is Jen gonna get through? So if I'm right, that gate's closed. Hmm. This is a slightly annoying puzzle. Oh yeah. Uh, because that is closed. So... Right. There was another lever up here. Oh, another piece of music that's probably going to get copyright claimed. Every video I've done for this game has had copyright claims on music. Which is annoying because um, I can't get, get in contact with Sony about it to find out if it's legitimate. So I've just been uh, silencing the sections because I don't want ads to run on my videos. Not because I don't want to give ad revenue, I just don't want to give ad revenue to fraudulent claims. Okay, if I'm right, now both of those doors or gates are closed. So if I go around to the other lever, I shouldn't have even turned that one. <laughs> That's a, one of those trick levers that you're supposed to leave it where it is. Okay. Oh yeah, upside down again. Oh, so this one's now open. Ah, but I have this way. I really don't like the fact that the moment you're out of um, oh the water in the aquas form, you're immediately taking damage, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Hmm. What does this one do? Oh. 
Okay. Interesting. Let's jump over to where Scree is. Aha. Okay. And that is at the beginning area. Okay then. Right, so Scree can't get through to the other point. So that means you can't get through to here, so that means that's why this is here. To get him back. Right. Now through here. Just a door. Okay. Right, lots of uh, not quite black textured areas. I'd, that's probably a glitch in the emulator. This emulation is not perfect and this game is a pain for emulators. <laughs> And it's also a bit of a pain to play, if I'm being honest. But, I said I was going to finish it, and I, I do want to see the ending again, because I want to see whether it it's still the same ending that I saw all them years ago. Right, okay, that gate, oh, that lever opened that door, that gate. So, got another one here. So, I'm going to change back. Then I'm going to go to Scree to get him through. This is... Mm, this really doesn't feel at all like a real place. This literally feels like a place that was created for the sole purpose of it being a, a gamey area. Hmm. Okay. If I'm right, <coughs> sorry, if I'm right, that should open the gate in front of Scree. Or a completely different one. Right, okay. In that case, So has this one closed? No. But I do know that there is another lever back the way we came. So if I swim back, Literally just go this way. Yeah, this changing backwards and forwards is already starting to get a little annoying. Now if I'm right, that should open, because that's closed that gate which has blocked Jen off from getting through, but yes it has opened this one for Scree. Okay, right, so what have we got here? Uh, some stuff to climb. Well, right, first thing we're going to do is get this back. A bit of coffee this evening. Right, and I'm going to 
Oh, that's not the one I want to change it. <laughs> this one. Right. Oh, I didn't realise this was going to require this many form changes. Right. I'll take this back to this lever here. Actually. Let's see. Is there anywhere I can swim up through? Yes, there is. Okay. Very similar design. This feels like they've reused the same, same map layout. I just thought changing back to human form should be quicker. Right. Let's jump back to Scree and see whether there's anything we can do here. Yeah, because I've already seen that Scree can't climb onto the roof, but he can cross over here. And I think I did see a gate open that might be might need reopening. No? Okay, and if I'm right with the layout of everything, this should lead me to another one of those statues that will pull a lever. Yes. And that's another five lodestones. Wait a minute, that's the one that's already been done. Hang on a minute. This isn't right. Okay, I'm confused now. Uh, transform, please. Thank you. I shouldn't have to press that multiple times. It could be the controller, could be the emulator. Right, so I feel like I've just done a full loop. Yeah. Yes, I have. <laughs> I didn't even realise it. This literally just takes us out the same same side and I completely missed that. <laughs> right. Actually this. Let's stick to the ferri form because... Oh no, I didn't press for the ferri form. Oh well. Let's see more time. So, I've got one wing of this massive statue down. Which I can climb across here. And go over its shoulder. That leads to... Hmm. Okay, how... How would we make our way across to the other one? forgetting which button to press. There's a passageway the uh, the eastern side of this. Or at least it looks like there is one. Turn the camera up. Okay. Can Scree climb that? Because if he can't, I'm a little stuck. Nope, he can't. 
So that passageway must, must be an exit from this area. Unless he can climb this. Yes. Okay. That is good. Um, thought for a moment he wasn't going to be able to uh, climb up. Okay. Right. Oh uh, yeah, dynamic polygons and physics, which means they go completely loopy. Again, one of the glitches for the emulator. Okay. Um. Uh. What's next then, Scree? Need to get to the other statue to complete the bridge. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. How exactly... So we've managed to get up here, but there's no... Uh... That's not what I wanted. Right, Jen can stay up there. I'm going to go get a torch because I think those two little um, oh half bowls in the wall need to be lit. I'm kind of guessing here. I've used um, oh walkthroughs in this game already, and I'd rather try and keep their use to a minimum. Yes. That's how we do it. Right. So this should hopefully take us down. Oh, great. Camera, turn around. I try telling the camera to go one way and it's insisting on staying locked in the same direction that it's been locked in. Okay. It's great time to um doesn't seem to want to Yeah, it doesn't didn't seem to want to let me under that arch. That's annoying. Yeah, this area is feeling a lot more rushed than I remember it. It's reminding me a bit of um Oh, the Atlantis area in Tomb Raider, the original one. By heck was that a rushed job. They even admitted that they'd um, they'd just reused some of the stuff that they'd done in um, old testing, or some of the test levels. 
just so they can actually have some puzzles. Um, it showed. Right. Okay, why have you rocked up? Oh, this form takes a lot of energy. Right. What is, is that a tarot card over there? I'm feeling it might be. Yes, it is. Right. I keep forgetting which button to press for the, uh, the map. I'm so used to it being select, but this game select um, switches character and start brings up the menu which has the map on it. Uh, okay, so this is a spiral staircase. I'm imagining it's a spiral downwards. Okay, there's going to be a point where me and Scree get separated. Ooh! Ah, chests galore. Hmm, the most of which don't seem to have anything. Oh. Good thing this game doesn't have mimic chests. Right, so I think the way to get through here is to use the wraith form. I mean, I think this is probably the first area in the game that's really asking you to use all four forms. Well, it hasn't used, asked you to use the ferri form yet. Oh, nearly some healing back because I will probably need it. Okay, that does that and this should hopefully turn it off. Yes, that was annoying. There's going to be more of that I think. And there's going to be more um, using statues as well, because this is giving me a lot of load zones. I've got nine. You need five for each statue that you uh, interact with. Just want to make sure I'm in the gin form. I don't know what. Also, don't know what triggers the um, the fast switch. Because sometimes it. When I, I'm changing transformation or form from one to another, it um, it takes half the time. Hey, Scree. Wrong button. What do you think we should be doing now? Need to get to the other statue to complete. Okay, I didn't realize you could interrupt them. Okay. Audio's going a bit weird there. Right. So, lights in here? No. Lights in here? No. Hmm, weird that there's the, uh, there's two of the, um, Oh, Scree summoning portals, where you can just bring him from wherever he is. Odd that there's two of them there. Oh! Thank you. 
I'm starting to wonder whether I'm going to get enough um, oh, uh, energy for Scree to be able to keep all the forms alive because that took a lot, doing the um, oh, the speed thing with the Wraith form, that took a lot of uh, energy out. I think it was like half a health in that form. But hopefully I won't have to use the Wraith form too much here. Okay, right. down with polygons going absolutely loopy everywhere now, at least I know what that effect is when I first saw it it's a case of what in the heck is going on here because it only happens with um, dynamic polygons uh, ones that are controlled by physics I think uh, the rope being one and uh, trees in the ferry area, whatever that one was called. That was the first area of the game, well, the first demon area. Right, so now we can get across. Get across here. It really seems very strange design for an area. Seems like it exists purely to be a to be a game puzzle. That's it, hurt each other. Okay, right, spray. Let's drain these two and then drain that crystal for all it's worth. Because I, I don't think I've ever actually completely drained one of those so far. So I'm just going to make sure he's completely empty. Okay then. Right, let's just fill up every single form to the full. And then I'll see if I can refill them again. Um, that's it. The button seems to be less responsive at the moment. Okay. Does that one? No. Right. Oh, have fully drained it. Okay then, so Scree does at least still have some energy. Right. Hmm. We're off the map now. It just ran straight past this. Oh, and texture glitch on there. Those things happen in modern games as well. There's there are quite a few in Fallout 3, if I remember correctly. Royal Chambers. Lighting everything up.
Right, okay, screw you. You've got some lighting up you can do. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of audio glitching in there. <laughs> oh, there's a bit much on the animation. Yee, got it right that time. Okay. I think Scree is going to be stuck there. Stuck on the other side. So let's... Let's see what we can find down here. Uh, oh, okay. So that doorway literally is just to the... Um, Oh, the teleporter. So I think it... Uh, actually, I don't think I need to go back through. I might just be a simple case of getting Scree to go up there. Oh, no. I just... <laughs> there. I don't need to run through it because I've got this. I did not spot that. Right. Change back. Again. You know, thinking about it, I wouldn't mind seeing a full remake of this game uh, from the point of view of using like modern uh, perspectives of combat and game design. Just pretty much redo everything. Oh, who the heck is that? Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh, I'm getting frame rate issues. I want to kill this guy because he's hurling grenades at me. Camera, thank you for not doing anything of what I want. Right, that's dealt with him. Let's get out to the area where I can actually fight a bit more effectively. Hang on a minute, he's still alive. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, he actually needs to be executed. Right, okay, I did not realise that. I've completely forgotten that that was even a mechanic. <laughs> it's been about... Oh, Four weeks since I played this, so possibly five. Okay. Right, and there's one, no, oh, two up there. Oh, that's. I'm actually thinking I might happily take one of the. Uh... Bloody camera. Yeah. 
because I've, I've got so many respawn um, crystals. And just use one. Yeah, we've got so many of those. Okay. Yeah, those respawn crystals, um, they're a finite number and I don't like using them, but I'm so far towards the end of the game now. As long as I've still got a couple left for the final boss. I say final boss, the final boss is. Because um, there's like... I can't remember exactly how many of them are separate, but there I do recall there being like five phases to, as I said earlier. So... Right then. Let's... I don't need much energy there. Right. Now let's deal with this guy. Okay. This swipe does a lot of damage as long as it connects. Okay. Okay, Screed, do your thing. And just get that last bit of energy back. Right, so that teleporter is now, it's just a portal, I should say, is now lit up. So, as much as that was a pain, I'm glad I did that because I might need that later. is right behind me. So oh, what is through here? Hmm. There's probably going to be a fight up in that north, is that? Yeah, in that northwestern area. There's probably going to be something here first though. Oh wow! <laughs> Oh, how bloody many of them this time. Okay, that's one. Right, let's get out of here. Let's see what other attacks I've got here. That didn't do anything. Oh, bloody egg. That's right. Can I see what I'm facing? Thank you. Bloody, bloody hell. I think I'm going to be using another one of those healing. How many of them do I have? Uh, if I'm right, I've got five of them left. I've got five of each. Yep, there's another one gone. Oh, bloody hell. Unlocking. These enemies are annoying. Yeah. 
more of them. Okay, this isn't fair in the slightest. What is this area called? Lava Temple. Okay. Frame rate's not helping either. Yeah, I think the game is, uh, the emulator at least, is starting to struggle to maintain a good frame rate with all these particle effects. So I can, I can hear the music glitching out. What the? Why did those attacks not connect? Okay, I'm going to be using another one of those uh, crystals soon. I think I'd rather that than uh, have to do a full recharge off of uh, Scree. Okay, one good hit, um, down. There we go, three left. Okay. This one definitely seems to have the biggest head of all of them. I wonder whether that one is summoning new ones. So there's... Okay, this is one of the more annoying fights. I mean, just literally just throw as many enemies as the game can at me in an attempt to try and overwhelm me. And to a certain extent, it's kind of working. Totally wrong, bloody one. Are you targeting ones that have not taken any damage? Go after the ones that. Right, stick with this one. Oh, for the love of. I'm going to use another one. I'm going to end up with two left. I came into this area with, with six of them, I think. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using another. Missed. Okay. Right. Right, the next tedious thing is going to be... What the heck? More? Okay, it's just two this time. away from the thing that locks the camera. Okay. 
fighting for me rather than against, as was this fool's intention. What's that supposed to mean? Silence! The hybrid is mine now. Um... This one still lives, hybrid. Cast him into the pit. Which just shows how little you know her. Jen? What are you doing? Out of the way. Jen, look at me. I don't remember this. What have you done to her? The gift I bestowed binds her to me. She no longer knows you. Hmm. No! The king will hear of this. And he'll hear of your scheming. The way you tried to enlist us in some plot to overthrow him. The king? You fool! I am the king. I am Iblis. I don't remember this happening at all. Hmm. Okay. Right, I'm... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, so... Okay, and yet another section playing just as uh, Scree. So... Just be safe, let's do a full circuit round here. I was thinking that would be a good point to uh, have a break, but it's a little bit early, especially considering um, I started the stream a little bit later than normal. So, uh, see how much further we can get. So that's seven lodestones. I wonder if there might be any more. It's midpoint, actually. Glad I looked up here. Yeah, it has been about 18, 19 years since I originally played this game, and I do not remember this part of this section at all. So I'm, I remember more of the final bosses, thinking about it. And I definitely need to get the lights on in here because it's starting to get dark. Probably should have put them on to begin with. And if I'm right, thinking about it, there's one more lodestone down there. Yes, I can just about see it. Right. So, now to this door. Okay. <laughs> Pouring right on him. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to skip. Press the wrong button. The button I was pressing was to pull Scree out of the... Uh, 
is. Okay. Right, so this needs the needs a torch. There's two ways, but neither of them. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Right, okay. I need to find something heavy that Scree can pick up. Exactly that! Okay. So. Put that there, and that keeps that open. Okay. So this takes me through to the side rooms. What is up here? A torch. And a lodestone. Hmm, would be nice to have some ambient music here. Right, so with this torch I should be able to light both things and open the doorway, which means... I want to know what's the other side. light. The oil reservoir is empty. Ah, that's why. Take this to the other side and there'll be a lever of some kind that will fill the oil reservoirs. That's why there's two. Yep. Okay. Chests probably empty. Most of them seem to be in this area. Oh, another lodestone. I'm probably going to end up with more lodestones than I actually need for the game. I'm back up to seven, so I've got enough for one. Right. These. Ah, you see, so you've got to do them in this order. you'll need the torch so I'm glad I did this in this order because having to go back to the other one <laughs> to get the torch would just be annoying okay and back we go hmm. that looks like you're supposed to interact with it in some way Keeping an eye on the time. So down you go. I keep forgetting that the camera does, likes to do its own thing. I try to manoeuvre it for my own benefit and then it overshoots. And that overused fire sound effect. <laughs> I think it actually rates as the most overused sound effect in the whole of gaming. Oh great, I've got guys throwing uh, explosive bombs at me. Uh, 
No, nothing here. So, a long set of stairs upwards. And a conveniently left open door. Oil bathroom. Yep, killing the frame rate again. Right, so I've got to get through that way somehow. Let's have a look around. Is there on the other side? No. Oh, there's one up this way. Hmm, those pillars have a pattern that make me wonder if they're intended to break. Wait a minute. Hmm. I don't know what's making that noise. Oh, it's the explosive um, grenades. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I need to empty that. Okay. Um, so, that's not climbable. It's going to be either something that um, I can manipulate of, Screek can uh, summon into, or it's a climbable wall. Right, let's see what we find up here. It's probably going to be... Interesting shine effect. I don't know if that's intentional. On the part of the devs. Right. Oh, this is going to be uh, an annoying climbing section, isn't it? I've got to climb backwards and forwards. Okay, so I can't manipulate the uh, thing from there, so... It's going to be a question of how close do I need to be? So it looks like I can get closer this way. Literally right next to it. It's strange that the other one I used um, I only need to be right on the floor by it. Oh, screw you, what do you... Oh, this is the easy way down there. Oh, bloody camera. Turn right around and make my movement be... Closes that, and so that should let the oil drain. Yep. Okay. Now I want to climb down. Okay, at least there was the easy way down, because if I'd had to go all the way around again. <laughs> um, Oh, 
Alright, so where are we now? Uh, the pipe room. Okay, this is looking like an even bigger puzzle. So I think now will be a good time to have my break. And I also need to get the lights on because it's uh, really got quite dark here. And uh, yeah, my camera <laughs> frame rate's rather low. So I'm going to go away for about 10, maybe 15 minutes, have a short break, and I shall be back to continue doing this. Uh, here's my... I just need to sort of... That's my... Yeah, that's my holding screen. So uh, yes, um, I'll be back soon. And um, yeah, we will continue on to this. So yes, I should be back soon. And we're back. Didn't move the camera at all, did I? No, um, just thought, thought for a moment that the camera had moved somehow. Yes, I've put the lights on and uh, let us jump straight back into the game where we are trying to reunite with Jen. And this feels like another almighty great puzzle room. So, okay. Uh, there is a platform up that way. Let's see. This is going to be a pain, I think. I mean, this is end game. I say end game. It's the fourth of the final section, the fourth one of four. So, of course, they're going to have the most annoying puzzles in here, and also probably the ones that are the least well thought out. Ooh, interesting. Can can Scree pick these up for Jen? Ah. Yes. Okay, I'm glad I came up here because that gives me another one, considering I used three in that one fight. <laughs> what do we have here? Right. I think stuff's going to be pouring out of those. There's every possibility I'm going somewhere I'm not supposed to. Right, so I can't go around onto that side. Uh, let's see if we can climb around this, because that at least saved me going all the way up and over again. Yes, okay. But I have a feeling I need to get them to stop spewing oil. Which is going to be another ten, um, oh, uh, lodestones. If that's how this is meant to be done. So let's get over there. Okay, no. Uh, okay. By the looks of it. I just spotted there seems to be a platform here. Yeah, let's see if I can climb onto that because that looks like a way across. Yes! So, this gets me across here oh, to a lodestone. But it does get me through to the next chamber as well. And I can see a recharge, an energy recharge stone thingy that Scree can use. And this entire room is feeling like one of those rooms that rotates. I do not like those. Uh, <laughs> here. Looks like putting up here might be a way, a way to go. I don't know if it's the way to go. Hmm. 
So I'm guessing that is a big pool of water that needs to, water, a big pool of oil that's going to need to be lit, potentially. Ah, lever. I have gone the right way. Scree, I did not want to climb. Go on, say it's too much for you to do on your own. Oh no. Oh, that animation. <laughs> oh. That thing that I thought was a a pool of oil that was going to get uh, filled up is actually a passageway and actually when it opened I thought that was filled with water so this I think if I'm right leads into the pipes which doesn't sound great see what we have down here. Yep, we're going through the pipes. These pipes get filled with oil and I am carrying a torch. Right, what's down? Um, either a void or oil. So, question becomes where to go? Uh, this way. Uh, yep, that is oil by the look of it. Well, that announced uh, my entry. Okay, so the platform literally just was a climbing puzzle. That was easier than I anticipated. Malakal's temple. No. Oh, right, he's fully charged. Okay. So first thing to do once I get back to Jen will be to come back here after recharging her fully and then... Oh, is that the Queen? Only the innocent, the brave and the lunatic would dare to rouse Queen Malakel from her rest. Which have I here? Who are you? Your pardon, lady. I am but a humble envoy of Lord Abaddon. I seek your majesty's guidance in a very delicate matter. I must firstly plea for your intervention. King Iblis has subjugated a companion of mine, a hybrid much prized by my master, a transgression which could prove dangerous to all of us. It is also my grave duty, I feel, to speak boldly, to warn you that your husband suspects your majesty of treachery toward him. I think she knows. You are lying. Majesty, it's true. He was in disguise, keen to test our loyalties, said he could reach the ear of the queen if we... Oh, that. No, of course he suspects me. He is right to. <laughs> Leaving his impregnable hall of gods to hunt for plotters. It's his favorite pastime. <laughs> well, it is also true that he has recklessly captured a hybrid. Doubtless he has. Advice now. While in Volca, you should aspire to emulate the strength of the djinn, and not our talent for deceit. Why do you lie? Your Majesty? You are no envoy of Abaddon. Rumble. We have played host to Abaddon's henchmen and thugs countless times. You are not one of them. 
He's uh, trying a new type of uh, henchman these days. I have the gift of reading people, their inner thoughts. Be aware of that. Who do you serve? Abaddon. You are stubborn at least. Courageous even. And there is something deeper within you that I confess I cannot read. But I shall in time. As for the simpler matter, you serve Arella. If you have come to seek my help, you be wise not to anger me and be plain. What is it you want? I need to rescue uh, this hybrid girl from your husband. That is what you want now. Why did you come to Vulcan? I have come from the Nexus with the last hope of saving us all. Our guardian, Kronos, has been murdered. The Timekeeper is dead? His heart cut out. The work of a hybrid. The orders of Abaddon. The Nexus has fallen to chaos already. It is only a matter of time before all the realms topple, Volca included. For years I warned Iblis that Abaddon could not be trusted. But he has always been blinded by the Dark One's gift of immortality <laughs> and a pledge of influence beyond this realm. Now his greed may cost us everything. He may have been warned of your coming by Abaddon, intercepted this hybrid for fear of her threat to him. Iblis always likes to strike first. If you can help mm. us, Your Majesty, you must. If our dynasty is teetering on a precipice, allow me to decide what I must do. Where is your hybrid now? Still with the king, I imagine. His jinn essence has melded her will to his own. Hold out your hand. Unlike the essence from Iblis, mine will not consume her mind. If you elect not to trust me, that is your choice. <laughs> now, rescue your hybrid from Iblis's power and return to me. With her, we will stand a chance. If you fail, then we may as well all join the ancient kings and the legendary corpse of Abdizir in the labyrinth beneath Volca. Oblivion would soon be no more. Thank you, Majesty. Hmm. Well, so this is probably a door that's going to take both of them to open, but I'm not being given the option to even try. So the question becomes how, how much further before we meet up with Jen again? And she mentioned the corpse of Abdazur, which was, I uh, believe, uh, one of the first big statues that you take control of as Scree. Um, okay. Okay, I'm a little confused about the map positioning here. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. <laughs> There's elements of this area that remind me a lot of, um, oh, uh, Nazi Old Republic. Of the big set pieces and the music. It's a strange thing to think of. I'm playing a game that's completely unrelated to Star Wars. 
Right. Ooh, okay. Let's just do a quick uh, save state and also do a manual save. Now that that's interesting because normally that only happens with the final fight of an area. And given what I've explored, it can't seriously be the end of the end of Volker already, is it? Jen? You. Hey, I'm glad you're still alive. This way I get to kill you myself. Hmm. Wait! I it's me, Scree! We're allies! We're friends even, remember? I don't think so. Oh, you must remember me! We came here together! Why in hell would I come in here You're not you? well, Jen. The Jin essence passed to you by Iblis has placed you in his thrall. Well, I have felt kind of trippy lately. See? You're not yourself at the moment. Let me help you, please. You don't really want to hurt me. You would help a lot more if you stay still! Jen, you're making a mistake! Nice try, short stack. Please. I completely forgot I can pause these. Hello there, Cooper GTV. Uh, you are the first person to ever raid me. How are we doing this evening or morning, depending on when you are when you are here? So <laughs> words are failing me right now. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the raid. As I say, it's the uh, the first raid I've ever received. How are we? I am. Um, I'm just playing uh, Primal here for PS2. Quite a old game. Was it uh, 2003? It came out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a flawed classic. Um, now to Raiders, if uh, you haven't seen me before, I'm late to the bid party. I mostly play older games, although last week I was playing Stray, which was uh, a fun little game. Um, yeah, I've got a YouTube as well. I upload my uh, VODs to there. Um, I usually get them up about Sunday midday, so you'll see this one um, on there. Uh, hopefully, as long as I've and get that all sorted and i've got all the streams i've been doing since what was it um i think october last year so i wasn't keeping all of the streams unfortunately but um yeah how are we all doing this uh, fine evening it's getting quite dark here so uh, um i'm not sure how much longer i'm going to be streaming for i've been i started about 7 p.m it's 9 p.m now and i feel like i'm getting really close to the end of the game so uh, yeah, join me with uh, join me as we try to uh, get to the end of the game. I've just paused the cutscene, so I will unpause and uh, we'll see where this goes. Please don't call me that. Ooh, you don't like short stack, huh? What's the problem, half pint? <laughs> Suddenly you're some kind of bonsai badass, huh? <laughs> well, come on then, Pee Wee, step up. Right, young lady. You leave me no option. Okay. Yeah. Bring it on. Okay, the weapon effects aren't working there. Okay, uh Right, uh Hmm. Uh, yeah, I did finish um, doing that. Um, all of the VODs are on my YouTube as well. I also edited them together. I say together. I edited the, out the um, oh the pauses. Well, that takes a bit, a bit long to uh, to do. I'm not sure what I can do here. Um, I don't see a statue that I can uh, I can inhabit. And I don't see anything I can climb either. No. Oh.
It doesn't seem to anything. Yeah. Yeah, I did have fun playing through uh, Dragon Age. Um, doing a, a bad Duke Nukem impression. So, <laughs> it, the novelty of it did run out fairly quickly, but um, I uh, I had fun doing that. I'm um, thinking of doing some other games with uh, the same idea, just with a different voice. Hmm. Hmm. Is it mirror all of her attacks just going over? Hmm. I'm hearing water as well, as if there's water around here. I am. Uh... Oh, I can inhabit something. That's interesting. I thought it's uh Okay, right now I'm making some progress. Um Oh. <laughs> Is that game over? I think that's game over. <laughs> right, well, um, it didn't help the, the beginning of that, well, when I finally got control of that thing. Um, so, right, well, I know that's going to come straight back to the uh, save state that I've got, so let's load that back. I've already done a save. And we can skip this cutscene. Right. Uh, you. Thank you for the uh, the follow there, uh, dear Jesus. So, uh, hope you are enjoying this. Um, if you're not interested in uh, chatting, uh, I do have a little command exclamation mark lurk because um, one comment does um, I'll contribute towards the uh, the channel. Right, let's just... This is going to be a close fight, I think. Oh. Died again. Got closer that time. Right. <laughs> one, of, one of the benefits of uh, emulators. Jen? You. Oh. Right. This is going to be a bit of a pain. The first game overs I've got as well playing through this. Right. Uh, back away. Oh, take it out. Okay, she's taken out over half the health of this thing already. <laughs> oh dear. This is not easy. Jen? Yeah, it would really be nice if the, <laughs> this thing wasn't quite so weak and also getting stun locked as well. That is also not helping. I should probably try blocking. 
I was never particularly good at blocking in these games. One good hit, hit from her, and this thing's gone again. Ow. I was so close. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> Jen? I'm determined. Right. It's annoying that she just comes straight up to the. Uh, and it takes such a long time to come out of the pose that she's just standing right there. Okay. Oh, the parries in this. Okay, managed it. Strange that killing her doesn't bring about a game over. Let's break Iblis's hold over you. Jen, how are you feeling? Uh, like I just stepped out of the mosh pit. I'll assume that's not good. <laughs> what happened back there? Man, I was having some weird dreams. The essence Iblis passed to you made you his pawn. I lost control. Did I do anything bad? Well, yes, but no more than I'd expect under the circumstances. <laughs> what was I doing? Freaking out? Talking to tongues? Channeling Elvis? It doesn't matter, Jen. <laughs> You're back now and that's all that counts. Come on, Scree. I won't be embarrassed. Was I like some drooling wreck slumped in the corner? Because I have done that a few times on a night out. Oh. Oh my god. I'm remembering. I hit you. Well, we hit each other. It was six of one, half a dozen of the other. <laughs> I called your names. Scree, I am so sorry. It's in the past now, Jen. No, really, Scree. Your size <laughs> is simply... <laughs> it... it... It's not an issue for me. Just drop it, will you? Okay. <laughs> Look, you'd better shift into the Jin aspect to check Malakel's essence is pure. Now well, let's see. I don't know why this cutscene hasn't got the uh, borders around it. Must kill Shorty. Oh, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Scree, wait up! I was teasing! You know you're a giant in my eyes! Oh, <laughs> don't be so sensitive. Oh, yeah, the script in this continues to be uh, wonky. Right, let's recharge. There's one thing that's been a bit of an issue so far. I think that's going to be no. all of them. No. Right. Let's grab these last lodestones because I'm probably going to need them. I think there's about four in here. Actually, there might, uh, might be more than that because <laughs> if you've got none when you enter that fight, it'd be impossible. So there's, there's probably going to be about six actually.
And hopefully I can get somewhere that I can actually recharge a bit more. Okay, yep, it drops five in here, so... Where do we need to go now? Right, back to uh, Malakal's temple. Okay. Uh, right. Oh yeah, I forgot about all these. Is there going to be another fight here? Nope. But there's going to be a lot of... Uh, <laughs> draining these bodies. I planned on doing this when this fight originally happened, but uh, didn't get the option at the time. Well, I mentioned before, it's... Uh, if this game was being done now, Scree would probably just um, gobble up all of the uh, essence from these bodies as soon as he walks over them, rather than having to do it this way. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of them, so I'm going to be full momentarily. No. Yep, he's full. And there's a whole bunch left. I'd like to think there's a moment where I can come back and get all of that, but there's no guarantee. Alright, so time to make our way. I'm trying to think, uh, was there anything on the, any fights that I avoided on the way through a scree? Hmm, I don't think there were, or if there were I didn't notice them. But I have a feeling that I'm not far off the end of this area, which will put me right towards end game. If I can finish this in today's stream, that would be good, but I've got a feeling it's going to be going for another two hours if I do, which should be a bit later than my normal streams. So I normally finish before 10. Oh, here's more fights. Oh. Oh, these guys parry. I think this guy is going to need to be actually killed properly. Ah yes. Right then, that's that one. And I hate it when they start doing that. And why did those hits not... It's the second time it's done that scene. Right. Right, well, Scree is fully charged. So if I do need... Definitely will need a re um, healing up. Oh, bloody heck. I do hate it when these things stun lock me. I think I'm going to be end up using one of those. Recharge crystals, I'd rather not. There's a lot of energy around that I could make easily make use of. Oh. Right. Okay, get over here, Scree. No. Wrong one.
Oh. Oh. Right, let's head head over this way. Try to get away. Come on, scree, follow me. Right. <laughs> it's a little bit cheaty to do it this way, but I do not want to use one of the um the healing crystals. I want to save those for the final fight in case I need those because I don't think I can uh, heal from uh, Scree during those. That's completely used up everything he had so definitely going to be heading back. Oh bloody heck. Is this thing going to take out half my health? Okay, right. Not the most exciting thing to do, but I really need to head back and uh, make use of all those essences that have just been left behind. See, I don't think I'm going to be finishing this uh, this stream. So I can leave it for next week. Would be nice to get to a good point to stop though, rather than just leave it mid exploration or something, or <laughs> mid charging up. Yeah, again, this is getting giving me vibes of uh, like um, the Sith Temple in uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Got a feeling this will probably get me to about half build. There are some more bodies left over at the last fight. For some reason, Jen hasn't followed. Oh well. Head all the way back. Be nice if the. Actually, I'm playing on emulators, so there probably is a fast forward. Um, not that I've used it. I know the PSP emulator I've got has a fast forward function. Discovered that the hard way when I was testing it out. Just press a button and suddenly the game's going ten times faster. Right, so that one. Yeah. That one's already been. Oh, he hadn't been drained. Okay. Right, why is Jen not followed? Oh, she's. That's annoying. Okay. I prefer controlling Jen because she's a bit easier to control than Scree, but at the moment, because I want to do the draining of all the essences of all the bodies, uh, he's already done that one. I kind of need to be in control of him because otherwise it's going to take ages. Well, it's already taken ages. Oh, and actually nearly filled. Did I see right? Oh, there's a couple of the uh, stones over there as well that can be used. Right, so. Let's charge up this way. Let's see what else we have. Oh, I didn't realise you could uh, break those. There's some I left behind that I'm not going to be able to get to. Mm. Right, switch back to Jen. 
Right. But the... Oh, those things don't seem to show their essence when they're uh, when they're dead. I don't know whether that's a element of the game or if it's the emulator not working things properly. There's quite a few things the emulator doesn't do right. But then few emulators are perfect. Okay, back to see the Queen. You need to meet Malika, the Queen. Can we really trust her? Probably not. But no matter why she's helping us, I'm afraid we do need her. <clears throat> Your Majesty, I've returned. That much I can see. Now, this must be your hybrid. Hi. Occasionally people call me Jen. Do they? I hear you might have a solution to our problem. I think you may be the solution. Long ago, Abaddon needed to guarantee an ally on Volker's throne. So he bestowed immortality on my husband. The gift he gave him was a heart stone that beats eternally in his chest. According to legend, the stone stays the ravages of time and sickness and protects from the hand of both demon and mortal, but not that of a hybrid. So it's the same type of stone that Lewis pulled out of Cronus? Exactly. With that stone, the timekeeper may be revived. You must kill the king and take his heart. Mm. You want us to kill your husband? And take his heart. That is correct. Mm. Okay. So that's your sovereign's secret power. And we can revive Kronos. And stabilize the Nexus. And the realms would all survive. Yes. And here, I will take the throne. What do you think, Jen? It's you who's got to do it. <laughs> well, since everyone else wants him iced, who am I to argue? It won't be easy. The Jinn are children of fire. Iblis's powers are strongest when the magma rises, and the volcano is already awakening. Now that you are lost him, he will have retreated to his Hall of Gods. He will be expecting you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ready, Jen? No. So, if he's most powerful when the magma is rising, is there a way to lower the magma? The lower chambers. Okay. I think we're about the halfway point for this section of the game. Another lodestone force scree. So I'm going to get a bit further and then uh, probably call it within the next half an hour. Ooh. More chests. So I have a feeling I'm going to it's going to be reasonably comfortable for finishing the game next stream. And then we'll be on to the next game I'll be playing. Okay, there's going to be a fight in that little room up ahead, isn't there? Uh, the heck is that? Up there? Interesting design. Right, is the frame rate going to tank as well? No. There's quite a few of them. Okay. Right, this is going to be painful, I think. Let's see. Come on. Right, if I can just keep hatching them just as they're attacking, that seems to stun lock them out of their attack. 
And I should take much damage, hopefully. Can I say that? Okay, that's one of them. Okay, a couple of them seem to be glitching out. Oh. Seem to be at the edge of their aggro range. <laughs> yeah, their aggro range won't come any any nearer. This is um, this is an exploit, and I'm not going to lie. I am perfectly happy to use it. The combat in this game is. Frustrating. Sets. Okay, one left. Get out of their aggro range and then... Yep. I should be ashamed of this, but... <laughs> the combat sections in this game are more annoying than fun. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's uh, charge up. That's going to take a lot out of screen, so... Right. There was another charging stone not far from here. I think we can go back for... Uh, shouldn't be too far back either. Oh, and didn't need it. Okay. Right, what's through here? More chests that are mostly going to be open, but look at that. Eee. Nothing of any particular use. Oh, great, there's one enemy that, uh... Oh, yes, please. So, a respawn stone. So hopefully that's just one enemy that didn't, uh... didn't follow down, because he probably lost aggro. So as it's only one, shouldn't be too painful to deal with. I say that, he's probably going to maul me to hell. Oh, there's two of them. I keep forgetting the bloody button press. I'm so used to the uh, oh the dodge button with the uh, the wraith form. 
Hey, hey, don't let your crony do all the damage. Right. Okay. Thought for a horrid moment that health bar that came up was Jen's and she was nearly dead. I say nearly dead, but nearly needing a recharge from the uh, recharge stones. So hopefully there's enough bodies nearby that I'm not going to need to uh, head any further back. So the annoying mechanic to have to uh, to do this as though they sh probably should have done it to have um I'll screen just absorb all the essence as he walks past yeah these ones are not showing I think for these particular enemies it's glitching and not showing the um oh the the energy of them if I go too far away from them because it will stop doing the effect um, at a certain distance which makes sense for optimization but it doesn't do switching them back on again when I get near enough again yeah definitely enough I think these last two should it's like there's no glowing things around them but if I interact I can drain them Right, is that going to be... Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Lots of lodestones. I think I've got enough for two. A few more and I'll have enough for three. Um, oh, uh... Inhabitings. Of what Scree does. Nothing there. Okay. Yep, definitely need to use one here. So if I'm right, I just need to rotate the controller to stop that screen. There we go. Right, so... Right. Uh. Ah, let me get that. I'd completely forgotten you could do that. I, I thought I tried that earlier on in the game, telling him to to take it. I've, again, I've almost got enough for the two inhabitants again. Ah, let me get that. Don't think you need it, Scree. No. No. Okay. Oh, there's some enemies down there. Thankfully these are the ones that I don't actually need to do the full kills on. I said it earlier in the stream, but it's weird that these fire creatures take damage from fire. You, normally, things are immune or at least resistant to the things that they are the element of. Like, fire creatures are immune to fire or resistant to fire and so forth. But no, not in this game. Right, Scree, get down here. So I can recharge. You probably only need one of these. Um, Jen, where the heck are you going? Right. Okay. 
Oh, hello. I'm uh, gonna need another recharge from uh, Bree. Recharge again. Oh, gonna need more than one, I think. Sometimes I wonder what the AI is trying to do. Right. Uh, but the, what the hell are you doing coming up here? And Scree is following. Well, this is not a well designed area. Right, let's get away from those steps. This camera. Make sure I'm topped up. Right, let's see. Okay. Right, let's get to that. Um, actually. Right, that's going to be a bit of a distance, but it looks like there's a, um, oh, a portal that I'm heading towards. And hopefully, hopefully that'll be near towards the. Uh, oh, let me get that. Um, three, get back in. That's it. That should be towards end game. Then again. With all these fights are happening, actually. I believe. Oh, they can. They can jump. <laughs> They're going to reach the end of their aggro range, though. <laughs> there isn't really a purpose in fighting these things. One of them still following. Let's just get rid of this one. Oh, blimey, this one's aggressive. Okay. Oh, one of them seems to be. Yep, yeah, another one's coming over. Or, or is it? Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, charge up. Okay. Recharge again, and I'm getting low again. <laughs> so I'm not really playing the combat the way I should be, but uh, it's not fun combat. I'm just determined to get through to the end of the game and finish it. I want to see the endings again. I know I could just look them up on YouTube, but uh, I'm so close to the end of the game now that I might as well just get to the end. Right. 
Right. <laughs> Are they gonna... I'm not even sure if they're gonna be able to pathfind all the way around. They're not really built for... for that kind of advanced um, movement. Okay, right, if I'm right, there's one more. Oh. Ah, there we go. Ah, let me get that. So, the portal is somewhere around here. Yeah, across the other side. Okay, then so I'm going to need to use Scree to climb up and over. And then that's where I will pull the stream. Is there something I want to double check for? Well, the audio went a bit weird there because I've got the graphics card set up to limit the frame rate when something doesn't have focus. Uh, useful for keeping the um, performance or the power usage down when uh, when I'm paused. So I can just uh, move focus away and it forces the game to run at a lower frame rate. So I should probably switch that off for this so it doesn't uh, create the same effect on streams. So... Uh, right, so I've made my way over. See if there's anything over this side. Well, there's a, another lodestone. And yes, there is. There is this. Okay, so what are the controls for this thing? Ah! Right. So I've just got to keep tipping it until it falls over. And that will knock the other pillar. There we go. And that, if I'm right, should give Jen a way over. If I'm reading this right. Yeah, this is going to be slow. <laughs> And then once we're at the uh, the portal, I will uh, pull the stream. Right. This is probably going to collapse as she runs over. Oh no. Right. And it's going to take both of us to open this door, I imagine. Come on, Scree, where are you? Don't just stand there. This thing weighs a ton. Um, Scree. Hmm. Way too heavy. Let's try it together. Oh, more enemies. There had to be, didn't there? Right, these guys probably don't have a uh, Diagro range, do they? I say that and they reach their Diagro range. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, I didn't finish him off, did I? Right. Okay. One left. Oh, one more good hit. That'll do it. Okay, right. Get that little bit of health back. Drain these two. Whew. And that, as long as nothing happens here. Right, I am going to use the in-game save function, just so I've got that. And once it's done, yep, I am going to save state. So I have that in the emulator. And hopefully next week we should have the game done. Um, so I can see the ending once again. Um, I don't remember exactly how it ended. I do remember the final boss had five phases. I think I've said that about three or four times this stream. <laughs> it's getting late. It's pushing 10 p.m. here. And uh, yeah, it's been interesting going back to this after playing um, I'll Stray for the last few weeks. Um, it's also interesting seeing this game after having played all of FromSoft games since 2009. Demon Souls, Through the Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring. Uh, they all have such great combat compared to this. <laughs> but this game was 2003. A lot of de developers were still trying to figure out how to do combat in uh, in 3D. And there are people who do argue that there are better ways than even how FromSoft do it. Um, not that I've seen any personally, but then there are a lot of games I haven't played. Um, but yeah, um, that will be the end of today's stream. Let's see if there's anyone uh, who's um, going. Yet yeah, we have... Oh, let's, let's go and raid LeChuck. See whether he is uh, still going. Oh, and it forces me to watch 30 seconds of ad ads before being able to view whether he's still streaming or not. And go through a few uh, end of things uh, for the stream. Uh, thank you, uh, Cooper GTV, for the raid. That is the first raid I've ever received. And I've been doing this for nearly a year now. So slow progress for me. Thank you for that. Thank you for remembering me after all these months of... Um, oh, uh, since... Um, Oh, since you dropped by, because you, you asked about the uh, the Dragon Age ones, and I finished that. Whew, I think it was back in March. <laughs> it's um, it's August now, so um, yes, thank you for dropping by, and also thank you, Beer Jesus, for the follow. Uh, slowly growing. Um, yeah, that's still going. Yes. Uh, um, oh, the VOD for this should be up by Sunday midday GMT. Um, on uh, YouTube, uh, links below for my YouTube as well as my Twitter. If you're watching the VOD now, there's a link to my Twitch so you can catch me. I will be back online uh, on well next Friday at 7 p.m. to finish off um, our Primal. Uh, and also, if uh, you'd like to throw some pennies my way, I, at the moment um, I've got no subscribers on Twitch. Um, I don't expect any at all. Um, to be honest, <laughs> I'll be amazed if I get any anytime soon. Um, but the way Twitch works, that you've got to get, I think it's a hundred dollars before they'll do they'll do a payout. So if well, I don't, I wouldn't imagine getting a payout from, from Twitch anytime this year. I'd need to gain quite a few subscribers to be able to manage that. But if you would like to throw some pennies my way, I do actually have a book that I published on uh, Amazon and 
um, Kindle a couple of years ago. There's a link below to that on both uh, Twitch and also the VOD. Um, the links go to the UK and USA stores, but it is available worldwide. Um, I would very much appreciate that. You will get something for your money in that case. Um, and if you do like the book, a review would be uh, very much appreciated. Um, Hmm. I've got a feeling LeChuck may have... Uh... Oh, <laughs> LeChuck has ended his stream, hasn't he? <laughs> That's the timing there. Okay, right. Um, let's refresh that. Uh, and it's still showing. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, right, let's actually have a look on Twitch proper, because that doesn't seem to be... Uh... No, uh, he has definitely finished his stream. So, uh, where did I put everything? That's very professional of me. I don't know where things are. I'm still getting used to all of this. I haven't figured out where to place everything. And I could probably do with a third screen as well to manage some of the stuff. Um, but yeah, I think instead, uh, let's have a look at Pinkori. See if... Uh, uh, yep she is still going yet yeah, pinkori is a uh, v streamer so hasn't uh, shown her face on stream at all uh she's got a um funny i think ice queen looking uh avatar at the moment i can't remember the i think she had an anime one last time i saw her so yeah that Let's go and raid Pinkori. She is playing the Mortuary Assistant, which is a fairly recent game. I think it's a horror game as well. That's kind of what uh, what she does. Last time I saw her, I think she was playing... Um, oh, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, the Quarry. The new one, or the most recent one from the guys who did um, Until Dawn, I think it was. Um, and Man of Medan. Uh, very highly rated game. Wasn't really my thing. Um, I kind of got bored of those Um the, the more modern renditions of the um, interactive movies with uh, Heavy Rain and, um, oh, what was the other one? Uh, Beyond Two Souls. So, um, mm, not the kind of game I was going to play. I've I've heard some good things about Mortuary Assistance. So, uh, yeah, let's go and raid Pinkori. And uh, if you would like to join me in the raid, please stick around. Otherwise, I hope you have a good week and weekend. Um, yeah, as I say, I'll be back next Friday, 7 p.m., uh, to carry on with uh, Primal and hopefully finish that. Um, thank you to everybody who dropped by. I do appreciate every um, every viewer. Uh, it counts towards growth of the channel, and uh, this is something that's very, very uh, out of my comfort zone, I should say, as an introvert. But I am thoroughly enjoying all of this. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, join me for the raid, and otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye.